guys welcome back to my channel so um yeah i'm gonna be doing a tutorial for um painting reborns on my babies i got two reborn kids or i'll just take like um one of my what's names i have a plain kit in my uh drawer so i'll just use one of those to just teach y'all how to paint i'll just use the head because i only have the legs and the head so I can just use something to practice with. Plus, I want to make that baby a cuddle baby anyway. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to just teach y'all how to paint reborns. Um, probably, I don't know if I want to do African American or biracial. But once this video gets started, then I'll make that decision up. So yeah. But right now, I do have a baby that's on my table right now. That I'm trying to finish up. It's a, um, a making sale. So this baby's going to be biracial. And... I already took some photos. I'm going to be posting them up on my Instagram. So you can go follow my Instagram down below. But yeah. So this baby right here. Um, making a biracial baby by the way. Painted hair. It's going to have painted hair plus uh, rooted hair. So it's combi hair basically. So this is what this baby is going to have. And then once this baby is complete. This baby will be up for sale for sure. Also. I don't know how many times I'm going to mention this. But I also have another baby for sale too let me grab him he's for sale if anybody is interested in a reborn um he is 400 uh free shipping he will be coming with a couple of things um i might do a details video for him so look for that video but yeah let's get started with this video okay so this is the kit that i'm going to be using uh the head from the kit this is the felicity awake so i'm going to be painting this baby I think I'm going to do Caucasian first because I feel like that's easier for you guys to learn how to do. So I'm going to do this first. Um, so what I do is I got to have something to hold this head up because it won't see it by itself. But what I do is I take ultramarine blue. I'm going to grab one of my little smaller bowls. Use one of my little smaller bowls. And I'm going to get my thinner and a paintbrush to um, mix my paint in. So what I do is I put I put just like a little bit of thinner. Just a little bit. Because I'm not going to put a lot of paint in this. Because the more you paint the more paint you put in there, the thicker it's going to get. So I'm going to put my brush in. And then I'm going to dip it into my ultramarine blue. And I do a couple of swipes, as you can see. And then I mix into this. This is going to be either, I'm going to either do veining or I'm going to do mottling with this color. But I'm probably going to do veining first. I'm going to do veining first and then do mottling. Okay, now that I got my uh, paint mixed, I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to tear the end off of it like so like this and set that little piece to the side um and i'm going to grab a brush that i can use to do to do veins i think i'm gonna go for this one i think i'm gonna go for this brush right here by the way i got all my brushes from walmart because <laughs> i stay at walmart i tell you that much so I'm going to give this one good mix again just to make sure everything is all blended up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the head. I'm going to get my brush into this. And you're going to want to do like squiggly lines. You don't want to do um, just straight lines. So what you're going to do is you're going to do that. And then I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to dab the excess off. I don't think you can see it. I'm going to let y'all know right now I am not the best at veining. So, not the best. But, mottling and all the other stuff is really going to like actually cover it up to where you can barely like see it. So...
Also, while you're um, painting, you have to keep mixing your paints or, or it's not going to um, apply correctly. You're not going to get a lot of pigment. So there's that. I'm also going to try and I'm going to do a little bit more and try to like run it down the ears. But now what you're going to do is you're going to bake it in the oven. Sorry, my oven right here. You're going to bake it in the oven for, I guess, eight minutes, eight minutes max. Um, and at 250, I put my homes on 250, but you can also put it on 265. But I put my homes on 250. And I also have a little thermometer in there just to make sure my oven don't overheat because the last time I put a kit in there, it melted. So, um, that's why this doll is missing arms. Because one of my custom orders, arms had melted. And, by the way, the doll that I showed y'all that's for sale, that's the baby that arms melted. If I had the arms in my room right now, I would show y'all them and how they are deformed. But, yeah, make sure you keep an eye on your oven. If you smell anything burning, open it up. Make sure your kit isn't melting. Um, and, yeah, so, uh, I'll be right back after... The kit is done baking. Actually, while that kit is baking, I'm gonna show y'all how to make a mountain sponge. So, grab your pair of tweezers, and you're gonna pluck off the edges. I'm gonna pluck the edges off, all the way around the sponge. Oh, come on now, don't do me like this. Pluck the edges off all the way around the sponge. Alright, now your sponge should look like this. And then you're going to take your tweezers again and you're gonna go through the middle and you're gonna pluck out um, some holes in the sponge. They don't have to be identical, they don't all have to be the same. Just make sure you have a good modeling sponge. This is what my sponge look like. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But that's what my sponge look like. So, you're going to use this. I'm going to start with blue mountain first. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lighten this up a little bit with some thinner. So, when the baby is out of the oven and is cooled off, um, always wait till your kit cool off to start painting again. So, always wait. And I'm gonna take my Motley sponge and I'm just gonna take some paint and put it on here and then pounce it on. I'll just show you guys that when it is time. So, okay, so now that the kit is all cooled off, by the way, I did go take me a little nap, so it's, it's 12 o'clock now. But now that 
the kids cooled off, I'm gonna take my modeling sponge. I'm gonna mix my paint. And I'm just gonna dab it on. And then I'm going to just dab the excess off, just like two dabs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, like I rotate my sponge, I can't remember who I learned this from, but I rotate my sponge every uh, time I pounce. So you're gonna rotate. And you might have to uh, refill your sponge. To my sponge. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm gonna refill my sponge. I'm uh, gonna do it again. I'm gonna dab excess off and pound. I'm spitting my sponge in. Now you're gonna let it dry. Then after it dries, you're going to um, put it in the oven for 250, uh, at 250 for eight minutes. So you're gonna bake each layer. Make sure you bake each layer. All right, so while that's doing that, I'm going to mix my next mountain color, which is going to be red. So I'm going to be using Crimson, crimson red. I say crimson red, but crimson one, oh one, my bad. Crimson oh one. And I'm gonna take my my uh, what is it? Thinner. I'm gonna take my thinner. I cannot speak right now, but I'm gonna take my thinner. And I'm gonna put it into a little tiny bowl. I don't wanna grab another brush so that I can mix. And I'm gonna use only a little tiny bit of this. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with my um my first mountain color. I'm gonna mix until it's like see that's a little too thin. You can't see it. I'm gonna take a little more. more. Just like until I get to my liking. To where I can like Should be enough. All right, that's perfect. So, um, I'm gonna go put the baby in the oven, let it dry, and then when I come back, I'll do this one. Also, you will need to make a second mountain sponge for this. So, remember in the last clip, I showed you guys how to make a mountain sponge. You'll need a tweezer and you'll need um, a sponge. All right, so now I'm gonna start my red mountain. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did. Mix my paints. I make sure my paint is still thin because it's been sitting here for a minute. So get some more thinner in there. Gonna mix, mix, mix. Alright. Gonna do it the same thing over and over again. I'm not gonna waste y'all time. So I'm just not gonna um film everything so just just know it's the same thing you did with the blue mottling sponge and the um and all of that it's the same thing but i'll just show y'all again you're going to want to twist your sponge 
to make sure like so keep mixing your paint as you go and if you feel like you need more uh, more paint on your sponge you can just add more so do the same thing over and over again moving a little faster with this now but um, you're going to repeat these steps uh, as many times as you want, but I usually do just two just two layers of this So this is my first layer and then I'll do a second layer after I do my second layer of my blue modeling So You feel that you want a lot of modeling go for it, <laughs> but just know that it's going to show up <laughs> It's going to show up. I I wish I had a photo of one of the babies that I accidentally added too much mottling to and I had to literally script the entire head over because I didn't like how it looked so just keep that in mind you do not want you want it to you want it to show through but not show through show through if you get what I'm saying so after I'm done with that I'll pop it back in the oven once it dry and then I'm gonna come back when I do the second layer of both colors, both of my Motley colors. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show y'all that. And then, yeah, so stay tuned for that part cause ugh, yeah, so let's go. All right, so I'm gonna repeat those steps one more time with the blue Motley and the red Motley. So I'm not gonna hold y'all and I'm just gonna start. All right, this will be the last bake. And then I will show you guys the final results of what it looks like when all the mopping is done. So I'll be baking it and then I'll be right okay, back. Okay guys, so before I show y'all the finishing product of this video, um, congratulations for making it through the first part of this series. So the next a uh, part I think it's gonna be the warming layer and uh, trying to build up the skin tone and stuff so that's what we're gonna do for the next video so if you stayed for this whole video thank you but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the finished product there's the finished product you can see it but it's not like too like out there so we're doing this is what we did today so congratulations for making it through the first part oh my god so you're on your way to making your own reboard um i think my next series that i'm going to be making after i finish up this series it's going to be african-american dolls i tell you this african-american dolls are way harder to paint than uh caucasian babies in my humble opinion um because i started painting african-american babies before i even learned how to paint uh caucasian babies but yeah, so you're on your way to making your first reborn. So I'm going to close out this video um, by saying thank you for even watching this video. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, hi. Thank you for even stopping by by this channel. <clears throat> also, in my last video, I put in my description. And I thank you guys because you guys got me to 304 subscribers, which is fantastic. So let's keep
keep going. Let's keep growing this channel and become like a little family. I'm trying to still figure out a nickname for you guys. I think I might just call y'all my little teddy bears. So, yeah. But, yeah. Bye, guys.